All right, guys. Choose a rare card. Three random potions. Remove a card. I don't know if a curse for a rare is worth it, right? Because most of the time the rare could be really good, but for curse, if it's a shitty rare, we're gonna we get to choose though. That's the thing. So we get to choose. Since we get to choose, it's not that bad. So we got Fiendfire, Dragon Brace, Fee. These are all very solid things. They all have different archetypes. Now we've done this before, guys. Hey, Hyper Hyper Sniper, welcome, buddy. I'm glad you like the YouTube. Welcome to the stream. Hope you enjoy it. Grab a snack, whatever, whatever you want to do. Um, we've been done feed first card, and we've got 200 max HP or more. I, and this is quite literal. I have a video about it. Fiendfire, if it's a slam boss, I think I might do Fiendfire, because it just wrecks everything. And Dark Abyss is pretty powerful too, but... um, I mean, so feed is... This, this adds up, guys. We Feed, we're doing feed. I was going to do Fiendfire, but feed. Feed, feed, feed. So, technically, since I have Regret, maybe I could consider doing Fiendfire to get rid of the Regret. But Feed. <laughs> I don't gotta stress it anymore. Feed is Feed. We've been here. It's nutty. It's nutty. Clothesline, yes. I'm gonna be greedy here. Last time I was greedy, I had Feed. I got Feed on the first, um... I don't know, like the first 10 floors consecutively, and I got to 200 max HP, so. Being greedy has paid off for me in the past. Looks like we're about to get a second feed. Yeah, we're taking more damage. Oh, no. Feed. Not good time for you to come. Alright. Yeah, we're taking more damage, but it's gonna pay off. Headbutt? Headbutt's cool to get my feed back, just in case I'm trying to get. Just in case I miss the feed. Now, I wanna remove this. The curse, but I also want to go for all these rests. So I'm gonna go here. Hopefully it's removal. Yes. And then we're gonna remove again. Well, shit. There's a shop. I guess I'll remove again. Fine. Ah, uh, this is awkward. This is an awkward fight. Uh, mitigate, I mitigate 10 if I, so if I do this and that, I'm mitigating 6 for 3. If I'm doing this, yeah, I mitigate 6 as well. I can mitigate more than 6. Yeah, that's, that was awkward. Awkward turn. Ah, but Phoenix here. It's all good. What's up, Festivus? How you doing? So I'm so excited already. We already got feed going. It's already happening. 84 max HP. That just means that now when I get one rest, that rest is going to be more impactful. By the way, Baku, what's up, man? How have you been? I know I reached out to you a long time ago, and we never got like around to uh, arranging it. Just hit me up if you ever feel the motivation. Let's upgrade that feed. Uh, I'm thinking I do bash here and go for the kill with feed. <sighs> See, it's worth it because feed gives us like a little bit more healing. So the damage that we take, it's okay. Seen red blood for blood. I mean, we're taking so much damage. Blood for blood's not bad, right? We're having way too much offense if we take blood for blood. I need defense, but fuck it. But fuck it, he said. Okay, Baku, no worries, man. I understand. I can also say, and I'm not, not, I totally respect your decision. I'm saying I can also say that my thing may not even take a long time, but I'm not even stressing it. I'm going to do removal. I know Armus can help us get more consistent defense, but... Removing also gives us more consistent defense. All right. What's up, Dark DC? Welcome, man. Alright, we're gonna have to come back for that feed. I can visually get this game, and it's awesome. It's Lars. Yeah, man. You are, uh... You're in for a treat, man. This is your first time playing it. 
Alright. Um, see, doing this whole feed thing is making me take more damage. But we gotta commit, boys. I'm gonna skip. I think I'm gonna skip an elite just because I'm kind of. So Grumman and I we can probably handle, right? Uh we're a little low on life. Ah, uh, we'll go for the elite. This might be the death of me. Oh my god. Hope they gave me a good potion for, for the elite coming up. Oh, I guess blood for blood is a thing, huh? This mitigates 10 for 2. This mitigates 6 for 2. Can't wait to get that exhume. Energy pot? Okay. I uh, hope the elite doesn't kick our ass. It's not that bad for us because we have Mercury Hourglass. I think this could be okay. I kind of want to do Blood for Blood here. And I want to do Dexterity Pot for sure. I kind of want to take a little bit of a hit so that I can get um, Blood for Blood going. And I'm not going to worry about feed in this fight just because... I'm already kind of struggling as it is. Okay, maybe I could have done the feed, but I've got enough out of it, I would say. Take one more hit for Blood for Blood, but that's it. Now I'm just in, like, full defense, because I used the Dexterity Power for a reason. So that's 17 damage. That's going to be 30 damage. We're one damage off. Damn. Feels bad. Feels bad, and now we got no block. After I decide to be aggressive, I end up getting no block. Alright. Mummified hand, sick. Um, we got burning packs, flex, sever, so we don't really got a way to. I guess Blood for Blood's gonna be a way to do a lot of damage. I suppose. Um, Cyber Soul could be good for the slimes, like that we're going to be getting the statuses, but also it's a little tricky, I would say. Burning packs could be interesting, but also kind of bad on three energy. This is uh, not the good options. By the way, Thunderstrike Blow said I missed that one. It should be on YouTube. If, did you check it out on YouTube? Is there a way to use your Amazon Prime stuff on mobile? I don't know. I think. I, I wish I knew. I have to know. I have to know these answers. Yeah, we could have done dark and embracing corruption. It's true. It's true. Well, that gets that. Like, if you don't have a way to win or scale, you just run out of skills, and then you're just kind of screwed. I wonder if I take flex one more damage. I'm not really inclined to do that, but it could be interesting. You know, I'll take a flex. Uh, I'm gonna upgrade here. I feel like we're okay. I feel like we're okay. Could be foolish of me. I'm gonna keep headbutting that flex back. I'm just gonna try to get as much flex value as possible. Not really a good split, but that's probably gonna kill me, boys. That's not a good split at all. I can split this guy so he doesn't do that big hit to me, but I kind of want to take a hit a little bit just because I want to get, um, I want to get Blood for Blood cheaper, but I don't think I could take 18 to the face. So Bash the Headbutt actually does more damage, right? But then this guy makes me weakened. It's going good, let's boys and Manos. This guy's gonna make me weakened. I'm 
It's also a worse split. If I split him now, it's kind of a worse split. So if I do this... Because this took me a long time to get these cards back because I have all these slimes and stuff coming up. I think maybe I do this, right? Minimize the damage. And then I'll headbutt that. Yes, I become weakened. It makes Blood for Blood cheaper, but it makes it so that the split's a little bit more even. But did I just die and I do the math right? I don't know. It's kind of awkward. We're dead, huh? Damn. Too many slimes. Too many slimes. I think... Maybe I mismanaged the potion use. Maybe I should have just rested and take one hit in this fight. If I take one hit, blood for blood becomes cheaper, then it becomes easier. Or maybe I just take the big hit to the face and just split the guy on the right. But then I'm gonna... Then I feel that's awkward. Or maybe I just split the guy on the left and don't take the hit at all. I'm curious to see how this could work out, honestly. I'm curious. I'm just gonna science this because I'm curious to see, like... I don't know. So we didn't rest... I just wasn't sure if I should take that hit. I feel like maybe I shouldn't just because up I had all these slimes in the fence coming up. And if that wasn't a flex, I suppose we could have brought back we could have had Ever Soul or Burning Pact. It wouldn't have been that useful, I don't think. Yeah, so if I if I rested I'd probably take a hit here, but yeah. This is not the greatest split either. So the thing is, I think I wasted my energy pot. That was the thing, though. That was something I did do, was waste energy pot. That might make a difference, especially on the turn right here. Like if I don't waste energy pot, then I can actually do... Like, straight up lethal. And that makes a difference. And now this hits that I'm taking right now is going to give me blood for blood. I just got to survive until I get back into that. So he splits a 26. So if I end my turn, next turn he's going to get split anyways. I think I'd rather end my turn now because I wanted to try to draw into something better. And then he still gets me weakened. So if I attack him, he's going to get down to 17, 17. And hopefully I can draw into something that can kill one of them. I'm going to take the risk and not attack here. It was an F only because I don't know, I think I just did the, the energy pot prematurely. That was kind of lame. So we had what it takes to just if we don't use energy pot. I forgot about Mumfed Hand and gave me that feed for free. So it works out, actually. But again, of course hindsight and science makes everything work out, huh? Whatever, just ignore it first run of the day. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal. I think your favorite I've recently was the side of my snake of white, Kunai and Shuriken, Bull Time. Oh shit. You would have been proud of that one? With a YouTuber if I've, ever, if I've ever had one. Oh, right. Hovering Kite was in there, too. Oh, Hovering Kite. Science filters. Oh, I know. Science was pulled through. Um, double tap offering. Reaper. I think Reaper's kind of cool with Inflame. And, you know, Reaper is AoE. And we don't really have AoE. And I guess it's like some healing and some AoE. Um, I think it's probably, in, on the whole, probably the worst option. But, yeah, I'm going to do it. I think it could be cool. Damn, son, we don't get energy relic. Okay, so we could do sustain potions, which could be nice. Or let's go black star. Let's give it a whirl. I don't really have anything in my deck that's redeeming enough for black star, but this this runs already kind of in the shitter, <laughs> struggling as it is. Besides, the elites are inevitable, right? It's an inevitable elite, and I'm, and I'm trying to. If I'm trying to win the game, and the elites are inevitable, might as well get double. 
the fun. But then you could argue if you take the potions, you would have better chance of winning. Oh, whatever. Yeah, my HP is still pretty good. Ooh, got one feed. Okay. That feed is just going to have to carry me. We're going to have so much max HP. It's not going to matter. And then we're going to end up getting... um. We're going to end up getting... What's it called? Meat and the bone. I thought about doing Reaper there. I don't know if it was worth... Probably was, huh? Skip. Upgrade our strikes and defense. That's cool. And flame Reaper. Okay. Safa. I gotta get rid of the, uh, gotta get rid of the feed. Sorry, feed. You are a good boy. I mean, I could defend here and not get rid of the feed. And there's a chance we get lethal next turn. Yeah, I'll do this, actually. Well, we have guaranteed lethal next turn, but maybe I could try to hold off for feed. How risky is that? I'm doing it. I'm waiting. I believe. Ah. Uh... Feed, please. Fine. Evolve? Who's the boss? Evolve could be interesting because I might end up taking... Well, it's a power, right? And I might end up taking... Um, Can I drink this? I can't drink this right now. Let me drink this. Can I just drink it? Damn. Always drink those potions, I guess. Tainer relic become cursed. I feel like we gotta take these risks and like get relics and become get the curses. So second wind does remove the curses, right? Could also just remove for a hundred. Sentinel does give me energy. And dropkick does give me some extra damage without uh Corruption is interesting because we have mummified hands and it helps you with my energy problems. This is kind of an interesting store. I want to remove the shame. So I actually would have made more. If I just gave the guy 186 gold, I would have had to save money here. That was actually stupid. I just lost money there. Whoopsies. Hmm. I'm gonna rest. Okay, we got Reaper. Well, holy shit, wait. And Tropic Brew is a gift that keeps on giving. Holy shyster. Wait a second. I can't resist the first turn kill like that. Oh, nice. Nice. We're doing it. What's up, SD? How you doing, buddy? We're gonna get two relics off of this. Where's my feed? Come on, feed. Don't skimp out on me. The black star run because I have no I have no energy though. That's it's uh I'm trying to do that feed. It's too premature, huh? We'll come back for it. Feed, 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 please, 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 please. Do we not? Do we just not do it? I feel like at this point we have to do it, right? It's only four damage we're taking. It's only four damage we're taking. It's all good. Think of it this way: I'm taking four damage. Okay, now I'm taking 
Seven damage to get four life. It's worth it. Right? Right? Fuck. Whatever. Okay, we got a lot of max HP. What's going on with all these uh, fruits? Got bronze skills. I got flame bear. It's my first defensive card I've ever been offered. Wow. Wow. Yeah, max HP will trigger bigger best. Exactly. That's what I was trying to go for, but... It looks like I'm just going to do this prematurely, like... Feet has done a lot for me anyways. It served me well. True, I won't have scurvy. That is good consideration. Don't gotta worry about scurvy. Should I get Reaper? Oh no, I won't be able to do Reaper because... Oh, yes I can. I lied. Wow. The fact that we're doing this is incredible to me. Now, Silver Ring is a way to dump some of my strength with Inflame. And the Flex, right? So, I'm gonna do it. Shuriken, okay. A part of me wants to upgrade Flame Barrier. Because if this is the Book of Stabbing, we're gonna feel it. Now we gotta run. I mean, we you're still gotta. We don't have a run just yet, but it's feeling run-ish. There is uh, like a semblance of a run going on here. It's going much better than I imagined. I'll put it that way. Duplicate a card in my deck. Okay, I think I might duplicate the flame barrier because I need. Um. Defense, right? But if I upgrade in if I duplicate in flame, that is another power which helps me in my energy and gives me more strength to just kill things with Strip Boomerang and all that stuff. You know what I mean? I'm thinking mummified hands in flame value and just smack them down. It's gonna be three six strength in total versus having another flame barrier in the deck. It's tough to say. I think we do in flame for the energy. Well, yeah. I'm gonna do this now. Although we could probably wait till we have strength first, right? Yeah. So we're gonna make a no strike deck to improve Raku wrong. The yeah, Shuriken is not always good, on the contrary. I'm gonna feed the guy in the back. Eh, being vulnerable kind of sucks. But we got blood potion. It's pretty sick. Ghostly armor. Yeah. I'm going for it. Oh, we got this. Uh, I saved reluctantly. I don't want to take damage from blood for blood, but okay, we'll do this. Let them hurt themselves. Get them, boys. Not like this. Not like this. Okay, there's blood for blood. I was asking for it. There it is. I don't want to lose ghostly armor, but I also kind of want to just wreck face here. Do you care about losing ghostly? I don't think so. Got Reaper to heal up just in case. Like, Reaper now would be sick. We got a weaken. We got a weaken, a close, and a feed. Should I just go for the damage on him? Because I feel like we're about to kill him. 
If I do this, I can keep feet and maybe get feet on the boss. But then... That's kind of greedy. It's kind of greedy to do that. We can try to get Reaper here, but... To no avail. Okay, we did it. We managed to kill two elites with Black Star. Suffering Clay, more max HP. Corruption Evolve, Heavy Blade. I'm gonna skip. We're gonna get a big fat rest in. And let's hope we can do this. Not a very good first turn. In fact, a very bad first turn. That's probably gonna spell my disaster right there, that first turn. Whoa, but this turn within F Reaper, it changes everything. This changes everything. It was in this moment when everything changed. I don't mind it. Self me Clay, I did not mind that. It's giving me block that I like and I need. So yes, please. And we're getting Shuriken. Blood for Blood helps me get Shuriken. Wait, this deck is actually coming together beautifully. It's actually kind of silly. All right, we got Ghostly, got Flame Barrier. And we got this. I'm gonna do the Weaken. Okay, not too bad. get rid of the feed then or do we keep the ghostly I feel like I should push for damage I'll do this though why is there evolve deck oh because I had memified hands and the evolve was helpful for like wounds and stuff and I thought okay since we're low on energy we're probably gonna need stuff like power through which is very efficient for mana so I took a mana efficient thing I think I'm gonna take the hit here I'm gonna do bash blood for blood strike I know that seems crazy, but we're going for the SmackDown. We got a lethal here. Let's get feet on him. Let's go. 125 max HP. Okay. That's cool. Barricade, Bludgeon, Juggernaut. Okay, so two of these are powers, and powers are nice because... We have modified hands. Now, Juggernaut becomes cheaper and we get more block every time we do that. And that works kind of well with Soul Forming Clay. So, for instance, we take hits and then we get Soul Forming Clay, which does um, damage back. I feel like Barricade's probably safer, but Juggernaut could be interesting. Could be interesting with Soul Forming Clay and um, I don't know, modified hands. Barricade's probably a better play. Eh, it's Juggernaut. I'm going for an interesting run. Sozu. Okay. This is scary. I don't want to do too many elites. I'll do like one elite, I guess. I'll do one elite. Who's the boss? I want to make sure that... Okay, time meter's fine. Awaken might punish me because of my powers, but... I can manage, I think. We're gonna have a big Reaper here. My god, wait. Brun skills and that flame barrier is insane. So we have a, if we get a big Reaper to kill the guy on the right. Like let's say we do this, kill the guy on the right, then we have feed. Oof. Beautiful. Back to full basically. Disarm is very good. 
Upgrade the disarm. I'm very happy about that. Apotheosis and purity. Apotheosis and purity. So purity can allow me to thin out the deck a little bit. Um, and I can take curses for the dark stone and use purity on that alongside battle trends, or I can take apotheosis, which it's okay. How many upgrades do we need? Not that many. We don't really have that many, need that many upgrades. I guess secret weapons, it's whatever. I gotta use the bathroom, boys. I wanna be right back. Hanging tight. I should have went to the bathroom before I started. My bad. <clears throat> nah, I haven't seen it, just, uh, Justice. Should I go take a look at it now? What do we remove? I feel like Flex is awkward, right? And so Evolve is kind of awkward in our deck. Maybe even the Secret Weapon is kind of awkward. Nah, we'll get rid of Evolve. Uh, but Evolve could be useful. We'll get rid of Evolve. But it is useful. Um, we're losing a lot of stuff. Losing Juggernaut now? Well, shit. Do I want to lose Juggernaut? Fine. I'm losing all my powers, which is my mom if I had hand stuff. I don't know, maybe I should have... Wait, was that a strike plus I could have lost? I'm so stupid. I just kept a strike plus. I am... There are no words. I just kept a strike plus. That's okay. It's all good. I'm tired, okay? Blame it on that. Yeah, it was a mistake. It was a mistake. It was a mistake. The power's gone. I know, I know, I know. I know, I know. Dragon I would have been really sick here, man. Uh, I, I, I shouldn't have got rid of it because I could use I could just use Juggernaut right here to just get free attacks. It's all good though. Shit happens. Question card, okay. Barricade. I mean, I'll keep the barricade even though <laughs> Juggernaut is probably unquestionably better. Barricade is not that bad in our deck. Is something that always behave like that? What do you mean? Oh, we can get our feed. Triggers multiple times. I th yeah, I think it always behaves like that. Yeah, but I'm not a I'm not a software McClay expert, so I can't I can't say for sure. So we have a decent heal. I don't need to take a hit here. I, mean, I was gonna heal it up anyways because it, yeah, I was gonna heal it up anyways, huh? Now I'm taking a hit regardless. Cool. Rage? I imagine Rage Juggernaut, guys. It would have been sick, huh? We'll skip here. Our only AoE is Reaper, so maybe I take the cleave? Nah, who needs it? Fendiv? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, what's up, buddy? Ooh, so we can make it so that it guarantees hit either. That was awkward, but I'd rather get this barricade out now, even though I'm probably not going to get any barricade. At least I get it out of my cycle. Although I do intend to get barricade here. Actually, I should bring both her butt back because I'm not, it's not free. I should make it free. 
I might not have a choice in the matter. That's 30 damage. We also have Pendiv. That's cool. That's got a little hit because of Blood for Blood. And that's pretty cool. The 77 is not cool, especially when I don't have any attacks on this turn. That's not cool. Do we have Reaper? Do we already use Reaper? We still have Reaper. Ah, this could be okay then. Heal back up. Although, honestly, I need to do Sword Boomerang. And I can't afford to do Reaper. Feels bad, man. But, you know what? We have Pendiv. We can Reaper on the next fight. So it's actually totally fine. Entrench for Barricade? Okay, I don't know how we're going to end up making this trench work, but... It's a thing that exists in our deck now. If we get one trigger, maybe we can make this an entrenched deck. I don't know. It's always nice to have block. I'm never complaining about that. I do not... I want. I definitely want to uh, get a fat Reaper here. And I'm talking fat. The fattest Reaper. Can I hold on for it? <sighs> couldn't. Couldn't resist. Alright, this is decent. They're so healthy. Oh, I love having all this max HP. It would have been counteracted better to throw this guy now, but it was, still would have been really nice. Really, it would have been full heal. Shrug it off. Yes. Yes. I need stuff like shrug it off. Threading needle. Wow, 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 wow. And another disarm. Oh my god. Wait. Dolly's mirror for entrench. I have double entrench. In a world where we have double entrench. We can probably scale like crazy with our block, but what's the initial block coming from? Does it matter if you have double entrenched? Does the initial block matter? Now, there's a lot of things we could do. We could take self forming, uh, sorry, threading needle, but then we can't do anything else. If there's also another shop coming up, which I don't know what's gonna have there, we can also do disarm Dolly's mirror, get double entrench and disarm. Hi, Nitzlin, welcome. Yeah, they're gonna go barricade in for this, like, okay, that's like four block a turn, but this could be double, it could be the effective block from disarm for the time meter at least. If it's the awakened one, it's really good. If it gets Dorna Deca, eh. And there's Dolly's Mirror as well. I think we do Dolly's. Don't, don't sue me. And what, what, what did I miss out on? A shrug? Eesh. Should I rest for 41 HP? Or upgrade? Eh, let's rest. Ouch. Disarm. Bring back my defense. Self forming clay, give it to me. Give me all that self forming clay, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me the entrench. Ooh. This is something I can get down with. I can get down with that. I can get down with that, baby. Give me the double entrench right here. Come to Papa. Okay, not like this. I want to get the inflame out of the way, so I'm going to do inflame in the membrane defense. 
Alright, I know we're taking a lot of damage, but we have a lot of life to spare. And once we get the entrenching going, we should be fine. Let's get the weakened and the disarm. And we have a pendant, so we can do pendant reaper and bring a lot of life back. I might just do that. That's actually not gonna do nothing. Or it's actually doing nothing, not gonna do nothing. My English is a little awkward today. This is better though. I can deal with that. Pretty decent. Okay, cool. That awkward feeling when you have no exhausts and you're trying to just cycle into two entrenches. Let's do this. That shuriken. Ghostly entrench. Get rid of the slime. Sick. Block is always nice. Block is always nice, especially when you can bring it right back. Block is always nice. Ma a lot of life, a lot of armor, and just some smacks to the face. That's all we need. We don't need anything too crazy. There's a lot of armor and a lot of smack to the face. Plus a lot of HP, of course. Oh my. Okay. We will start swinging. Like now. We'll start swinging now. Although Brown Scouts is doing the job for me. Let's bring back that entrench. And got 999 block, baby. Just like that. Get the weaken. Alright, and we're going to try to get the pen nib on the sword boomerang. Or on the feed. Should I be, try to go for feed here? I'm going to try to go for feed. I'm going for the feed. How long do I have to stall to get that feed? Not too long, because we have hourglass and we have... Bronze skills. We can probably get it soon. It's gonna be worth because I need help for the next fight. Woo! Perfect. Okay. 141. Awaken one. Let's go. I think... This fight's awkward for me. Just because... Uh... Well, we have Disarm. Disarm's gonna help me, help me so much. We're fans. We have so much life. I'm doing Inflame. I know it's... But I, I don't care. And I'm gonna pop it. I'm gonna get the Weaken on him. See, it's tempting because I want to get the Weaken, but I also want to do Ghostly Flame Barrier. The Weaken's pretty good. We have so much life, it doesn't really matter, I suppose. Do we have Entrench we can bring back? We do. I'm making him stronger. Wait, we don't even have Barricade out. Why am I doing the Entrench? I don't even have Barricade out. Gurp. Now, is it worth to do this? That's not worth, right? I can try to get bigger. I gotta try to get bigger. I mean, Barricade and Trench is such a strong combo, it's ridiculous. I could do secret weapon for headbutt. Headbutt back the other entrench. 
And then do this. Alright, I'm gonna do I'm gonna reaper for the pendant just to get some life back, even though I don't need it. Alright, we're good. Woo! Bring back ghostly. Let's get the weaken. That's all it takes, boys. Best I, best I, bet I wish I have Juggernaut? Nah. I'm actually happy that the deck is kind of small and petite. Juggernaut would have been awkward because I don't have a way to exhaust it. And these, I guess if we can win, the powers are going to be bad. Like Juggernaut and Evolve would have been terrible. I'm happy with how this turned out. trying to get the shuriken but fuck it all right can we lose this let's find out it's doubtful Oof. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I know I can't lose. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I've been down this rodeo before. I've been down a few uh, boss rodeos before. I've slain a few spires in my day. Yeah, I can't lose this. I mean, I could attempt to lose it, but it would take a long time. Alright. We already used feed, right? GG! That's not bad. There was a three energy act two with with um Black Star. Now if I had hopped a little bit, this is really powerful. I already said this is like an amazing relic. And the feed, of course, having this much max HP is just so helpful. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable.